You might have heard about Google Cloud Functions, which makes it possible to write simple, single-purpose code that scales automatically and runs in response to events. You might also be wondering, does it work with Go? Cloud Functions recently announced support for Python 3.7 and Node 8. And today, we're excited to show you the newly released Go support for Cloud Functions. Let's get started. Go Cloud Functions come in two distinct types, HTTP functions and background functions. Let's take a look at an HTTP function first. HTTP functions run when they receive a request and they return a response. The function signature follows the HTTP handler func interface from the Go standard library, meaning that you can use the wide variety of Go HTTP middleware right out of the box. Now let's deploy it. We give our function a name, hello, specify the entry point f, and add the trigger HTTP flag. Once it's deployed, your command line will show the URL used to trigger the function. Just copy that into your browser to test it. And with that, we've just deployed our first Go Cloud function. Next, let's take a look at a background function. While an HTTP function responds to a request, a background function responds to an event. Let's write a function that triggers every time a Cloud Storage bucket's contents change. Here's what our function looks like. It receives a Cloud Storage event and logs the file and bucket name. Deploying this function is just like deploying an HTTP function. We give our function a name, specify the entry point, and specify the event type and resource that originates the event. Now, with all the setup complete, this function will fire every time a new file is added to our bucket. Don't forget to create the cloud storage bucket before deploying your function. Now, to test this, just use the web UI and upload a file to your bucket. We've only shown a very small piece of what's possible with Go Cloud Functions. With Cloud Functions, you don't have to worry about server management. You only pay for what you use, and your functions scale automatically in response to demand. Best of all, you're using the familiar building blocks of Go Functions. Using Go Cloud Functions, you can build mobile or IoT backends, virtual assistants or chatbots, do real-time file processing, or integrate with third-party services, just to name a few. What's best, though, is that it's incredibly easy to get started by writing a small function in Go and then building it up from there. We hope you give Go Cloud Functions a try. I'm Eno Compton. And I'm Angela. Let us know how it goes by leaving questions or comments in the section below. Reach out to us on Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to the Google Cloud Platform YouTube channel for more Go videos. See you next time. Thanks for watching.